Hi, I'm Lisa B. Wife, family, minister of the gospel, playwright, television host, author, radio show host on KGM1.com. Queen Lisa B. It's your girl Lisa B, and we're here today with lunch with Lisa B on the TPNG Network. I'm telling you, I'm sitting here with Minister Theron. Tell them the name of your ministry. Your CTS, those are the acronyms, but it's Continue to Stand Ministries. Continue to Stand Ministries. Mm. And what we're talking about today is innocence. Mm. Mm. You know what? There was some form of innocence. When I when I was growing up, mm-hmm. I never children ain't never been innocent now. Right, right, they ain't right. never been innocent, so let's not be, even put that out there. Right, right. Okay, mm-hmm. but they, I didn't have the information I got now. Right. As a child. Oh God. You know mm-hmm. because when I when I grew up, I was like I grew up in the time of Leave It to Beaver. They had separate beds and everything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> TV. They didn't yeah. even show a toilet on TV. No. <laughs> mm-hmm. And let alone somebody sitting on it. Oh my goodness! That, but that's what they show now. It's gotten that fragrance. It, yeah, mm. it stank. Mm-hmm. But let me tell you this: mm-hmm. the question of the day is, can you maintain a child's innocence in this day and time, or some t- type of normalcy where they have some type of consciousness where they know right from wrong in this day and age? This day and age, Lisa, you know, that that question right there is really the type of question that you really have to ponder on it because of so many distractions that gets in the way between you and your child. Your parenting. Your parenting. Right. You see, because from infancy until, you know, adolescence and all the way down to the, you know, the young adult to the age 18, I want to, you know, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to push that off on right. parenting, but what I do want to do is let you know that there is so many different things that goes on within that age bracket right there. So there's a lot mm-hmm. of interferences yes. coming into play. Yes. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I remember one of the big interferences I've had, and you can tell me one of your big ones, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. One of my big interferences I had growing up was my friends' um, parents used to let them smoke. Mm-hmm. In the house, they could smoke cigarettes, they could smoke weed and all of that. Mm-hmm. And I thought my mother was a bad parent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I thought my mother was a bad parent because mm-hmm. she didn't let me smoke cigarettes and weed. Mm-hmm. You and she, I, I, mm-hmm. was, I was well over 18 years old if I smoked a cigarette in my mm-hmm. mama's house. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then when I did that, she quit. Okay. So that way, she made the influence. It was an influence. She didn't want that. She She said, "Oh no." That's why I say mothers have. Um, they have. They have telepathy. This is something. Yeah. And mothers also, they got long range vision. They can. Mothers can read the future. Yeah. And you know what? And my mom, she read the future. I'm serious. She read the future. Now, one of my biggest interferences was when I was growing up was that my mother, she thought that she can trust. Her neighbor to babysit me. <laughs> oh! Uh-huh, uh-huh. And her babysitter never watched me. So guess what? I was I was always running out the house, getting into things. Oh! Yeah, finding a firework inside of the brick wall. Remember the old brick walls that sit by the alley? Yeah. yeah. I found a firework. Okay, and it still had a fuse in it. Oh, you know, inquisitive children. <laughs> so, as inquisitive as I was, I, I took the firework, I ran in the house, I stuffed it behind my pants with my shirt, right, and I closed it. And my brother was sitting down watching TV. Oh, he was a good kid. Your brother was? I smoked him out, though. I <laughs> 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 know the story, though. She's at home in glory, but she knows that story. But that was one of my biggest yeah, interferences yeah. was, you know, my mother, uh, the people who she chose to babysit us when she went with the motorcycle gang, you know, they weren't too bright. They weren't mm. too bright. You know what? Let me mm. ask you something. What do you think the biggest interference is today with children? You know what, that's amazing that you would ask that, uh, Lisa B., because I, I, I totally believe uh, something that I'm not alone in that belief. Uh-huh. I believe that, uh, especially from a time range, ranging from 1995 up to the year right now, was that 22 years now? Uh-huh. You recall that? You know, we got the cell phone epidemic. You know, we got cell phone oh, therapy. Geez. And now it's all, about the, it's all about the phone or the throne. 
Okay. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. And so the, I believe that to answer your question, that's one of the mm. biggest distractions. And guess what? I mean big like Goliath. It, it's a mm. Goliath. That's a Goliath. It's a Goliath. Yes. Let me tell you something. Mm. And it's, it's a Goliath. Yes. Mm. yes. You know what? To me, you know what the biggest distraction is for children right now? The What's internet. That? Ooh, Ooh, the internet. Goodness. I'm not even just going to say social media. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to say the internet. Right. Because right. everything, good or bad, yes. everything, mm -hmm. good or bad, is there. Is there. Not true. And, and, and because mm -hmm. children have no control over their flesh, right, right. and they have no wisdom, right, right. guess what they do? They mm. find it. Mm. Satan something. They find mm. all the wickedness. Mm. You know what? You know what? I just have to agree with you. And it and it runs so deep. And you know what? We've spoken about something to this degree before. Uh, and you know, that internet, you know what I mean? I mean, that's the that's the uh, internet that uh, that net traction. And it reminds me of some type of crab snare. neck it's or a snare. snare. It's a snare. Oh. High five. It's a, a snare. snare. You don't need a snare mm -hmm. in your life because a snare causes a tear in your functionality. It, With it, that. That's what, exactly what I'm trying to talk about because that's where it's at. And you know what? And here's the deal. That internet is linked to the full mode media. You got that internet along with their iPhones and with their mm. iPads or whatever mm. the source may be that lets them get into these illicit areas illicit areas now brother curtis uh-huh i know that i know that you have children yes I do. what is the biggest what is the what 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 to to you what uh -huh. is the biggest influence on young people right now do you have the camera for it towards not yet i'm getting ready go, to go ahead okay. young. Okay. What, well i would say my biggest what you say Influence. Biggest influence. That, that I would say young people from getting to God right now. From getting to God, I would say peer pressure. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. But it's always been too. That always mm -hmm. been. It, it's always been. Because it either comes down to you being a follower or a leader. Mm -hmm. And you have sometimes, like I learned today, you gotta let some people go. You gotta, you know what? And it could be your closest one. It it it, it happens ooh, like that. Ooh, ooh, and, ooh. But you know what? Staying mm -hmm. on top. Of, let me say this though. I'm going back over there with you. How do you control? Well, you know what? You, 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 did you have a mama that used to say, "Turn the TV off at eight thirty"? I did. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cause you knew about nine o'clock, ten o'clock, yeah. crazy stuff was going. You know, it wasn't right. ever crazy that day. Zone, you know, yeah, but it was getting ready to get a little the bit worse. Gonna get yeah, you preacher, tonight. preacher was yeah, coming out. Uh -huh. yes. yes. My yes. grandma yes. would yes. say, yes. "Ain't nothing good on the street at night time." Right, mm. right. right. That's right. when they came out. The who came out? The freaks came out at night. <laughs> <laughs> But now, right. early well, now, you know what, right. again, like right. I want to say, you know, we, we're in that time zone. I think we don't went through a shift. Yeah. You see, we don't went through a shift, and I think that there's technology, no there's no morality with technology. Mm. It's all about, you know, it's no morality. You know, Chris Parker, what was his name? No, that wasn't him. That was Boogie Down Production. I want to give him his props for saying this. He said, he said, it's all about a salary, and it's not about reality. Can't That's what happened. Yeah. Remember that in that yeah, part of the song. Salary, it's all about reality. He says, he says, he says, it's all about re he says, all about a salary. It's not about reality. Right. You know, I like, mm. I like you know, how you the, said that. Yeah. It's all mm. about shareholders. Come on Let now. Let me tell you something. Mm. I, I always talk about this. Mm. During the early days of, uh, in order to get your point across that you're saying, I'm going to share with you the early days of TV. During the early days of TV, Everybody watched TV for free. Now mm -hmm. you can't watch TV. You don't have no internet. You can't even watch TV. Mm -hmm. yeah. so am I right or wrong? You're right. You don't have no internet. Right. You cannot watch TV. That's you right. can't stream. That's you can't right. get on your phone. <laughs> mm -hmm. There is nothing. Businesses are shut down. By the way, getting a little bit off track, but you know today they took off the sanctioning of the FCC on the internet. Yes, they did. That was removed. So internet prices are going up. Uh, local companies control the internet. The government and FCC no That's longer right. controls the internet. That's right. So mm. people are not going to be able to be afford to be on Facebook in a minute. You know but, what, Lisa? Go, I'm sorry. Finish your point. It, it, it just is so voluptuous in what you're saying. 
Uh-huh. And I agree with you. But the, go the beast is here. You oh, know, the goodness. word of God talks about the, the number of man, 666, six, six, right? Yes, yes. And it talks, you know, all the time I used to think that, the um, you know, it talks about you have to buy and sell from the beast and all mm-hmm. that kind of stuff. This, this, it's a system. And it's coming into play Ooh. right now through this internet. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Oh, praise and, Lord. And, and, praise and you Lord. know what's going to happen is everything's going to be controlled through this internet. And if you don't bow down to this system, mm-hmm. your, your children, you're going to be, let me tell you, you're going to be persecuted. Yes. Because yes. Yes. Yes, everything's about a chip right now. Yes. All of my credit cards, I wish I had my wallet. What are my wallet? But they have a chip in it. Uh-huh. Yeah, they have chips yeah. in them. All my credit yeah. cards have chips in them. Everything's right faster. Now. You know, my, my bank accounts, all of them are chipped, chipped right now. Chipped up. People are in these big companies right now. Uh-huh. You can't get into it. Guess what you have to do now? Uh-huh. That's right. Chip your hand to get into that's some right. businesses right now. That's right. So tell me that's not the mark of the beast. It's a system. Mm. And look how they and look how they and look how they and look how they factored into your realm of acceptance by putting a chip in your phone. Okay, to when you lose it, you can find it. Or by mm. putting a chip in your animal. Right. Okay, you know, right. I have two Akitas and a cat, and all of them have a chip in them. I lost my boy Akita. Okay, they go through some type of stage at uh, a certain period of their lives, but I lost my boy Akita. And so then I says, uh, I, I tell my wife, I says, well, I says, uh, 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 where's, I mean, you, we got the chip. Let, let, let's, let's find him. Yeah. She said, I can't find the number. I was so hurt. I said, what the heck we get the chip for? Well, now they had factor that using the chip in small things and minute things to the point to where, guess what? So when the chip come out on your credit cards, and like you say, going into certain companies, and you have to show your chip, they got certain companies out in certain mm-hmm. states, you mm-hmm. know, that they're putting these chips and everything in people, in people mm-hmm. already. Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, I just wanted to share that with you to agree with you mm-hmm. about these chips and they can be chip our babies. You know that, right? Well, guess what now? That's all. I don't mean to make it like it's a joke because it's not. But you know what? I'm all chipped up. Mm. <laughs> I'm, all, I'm chipped out. Right, right, I'm chipped out. Right. You chipping? Right. You chipping? You, chip right. you say you chipping? Yeah, I'm chipping, but I'm all chipped right. out yeah. because I see exactly the moves from the enemy. And you know what? And that again, that goes alongside what can we keep our children innocent? Because here, here's the deal. Besides infancy until age 18, you know what? All of what mom and dad did right there in the home when the child was close to us. Guess what? Is a, 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 a it's a grumbling battle. It's a war between what's out there in the street, what can influence them in the streets. Okay, and let me ask you this. How much do they really take away? I was watching the news this morning, Brother Minister, mm-hmm. and, and <sighs> Brother Minister Curtis, uh-huh. and, and they were talking about, you know those new Google things they got out? Yes. Uh-huh. Those pods that you can talk on? Mm-hmm. Well, guess what? Mm. They're recording you even when you're not talking to them. Isn't that something? So Google is taking in all your, so now your house is tapped. Tapped. Mm -hmm. By -hmm. this device. But if you really want to know about it, your house is tapped through this device. Mm -hmm. Do you know that if once you sign on to Facebook and and your children sign on to Facebook, Mm -hmm. so we're talking about children, right? Mm -hmm. And And they say, yes, I agree. Mm. To the Facebook rules and regulations. Yes, yes. Do you know that Facebook has access to everything you put in your phone? Every single thing. It's on a template. It, you know what's they amazing? Have access to, and guess what? That means the government has access to everything because they can subpoena them anytime they want to. Almost oh, definitely. And you know what? And again, mm. you know what, Lisa? I, I just really mm. admire you for allowing me to come on the show and speak about such a, a close topic. You see, because anytime anything goes on in life that has something to do with our children, and you know, and we are the supporters, providers, and the teachers first for our children, mm-hmm. God placed us in charge of one of the biggest responsibilities that we as parents can have, and that's to rear and raise up that child. Mm-hmm. You know, and get that child prepared for these things that you're talking about. Because, see, you know what? In 1995, you see, the way that me and you grew up was we had a different set of rules and regulations for oh, our parents. There. I'm 49, though, and then oh, yeah, up, okay, well, we yeah, the same. You were going at the same time, and guess what? And see, so we had, okay, some of the rules that, you know, we grew up in our homes are different rules right now. Oh, they're much different. They're much different. 
Because see, when this media came out, like I said, you know what, I've always felt that, you know, we are living in a time of capitalism. And whenever you I got... I was born in a capitalist society. Well, there it is there. It's just gotten stronger. Oh, it's big. It's just gotten stronger. Right. You know what I'm saying? And what happens when you feed anything? It grows. It grows. You see, so now they got tricky ways, different ways in feeding this capitalism monster. Mm. And right now they are, they are exploiting our youngsters. Mm. I mean, you see the cigarette tobacco company, and just let me just finish this one very flavored vape. Oh, come on, making the uh, e-cigarette. The e-cigarette is still yeah. out of the nicotine, the tar, and the carbon monoxide. Okay, the tar is a very bad thing to coat our lungs, but the nicotine is the active drug that you know causes the addiction to right. you know you know cigarettes. So then they came out with the e-cig. Now they didn't come out with a huge report on how bad the e-cig is just yet. But you know what? The e-cig might not have the carbon monoxide or the tar. The tar is eliminated in the e-cig. Uh -huh. But now that nicotine, the addictive drug that got right. hundreds of drugs in that nicotine. Right. That's the people that buy Including yeah. bombing fluid. Would you quit it? Because that's true. And but guess what? Now they're making candy, candy flavor. Candy, they're making the e-cigs look like toys. Right. Mm. right. They want to market it to. Mm. Right. They want to get the baby addicted. Cause the kids are you teaching, brother? Because he's gonna he gonna be a dick. What's the hell you, you know? Smoking bubblegum flavored. Um, I don't know any. I don't know any. With nicotine in. The only one I've seen that sacrificed himself out there smoking anybody's cigarette was the Marble Man, and I don't even know if he real. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying though? Yeah. They made Joe Camel look. Uh, had an appearance, you know, <coughs> young people that you know that will persuade you know how they see life. That it's cool to smoke. It's cool to walk around like a portable chimney and to go poof, poof, poof. I never understood that. I, I did because I did it. How you felt? Huh? I, how I felt at the time? Mm. I, you know, I started smoking when I was 14 years old. How you start? I was trying to be cool. Oh, there it is there. I was trying to be cool, mm. and then mm. one day, 10 years later, yeah. I found out it wasn't about cool no more. I just mm. had to have one. You just had to have one. And so mm. all my mm. coolness had went... Out the door, oh and now it was about, um, can you lend me five dollars because I need me some cigarettes? Look at that. So when you borrow money for the addiction, borrow money for the addiction. That's exactly what happens. You know, Brother Curtis, can you give me something I can look out of? You know what? Because I, yeah. I need something to look yeah, out of. Let me see. Where my glasses yeah, at? Um, because yeah, I want to share something right with there. you all. You yeah. know, now I like, I like, thank you, brother. I like, I like Minister Charles Stanley, Dr. Charles Stanley over yeah. there in In Touch Ministries. You know, he teaches, well, he teaches me very well. Mm -hmm. And what's so beautiful about the things that Dr. Charles Stanley teaches is that, you know, he is so concerned about, you know, our generation and a generation to come and us older generations on how we to teach the younger generations. Uh -huh. And, you know, and he used such biblical, you know, anecdotes and uh, uh, principles to do so. Yes. And, you know, and so uh, when you had called me on the show, Lisa, I thought maybe, I said, well, you know what, let me get something from Dr. Charles Stanley. Okay. So if you don't mind, I got just a little He's bit that I want to do. He's a man of wisdom. Yes. Is he okay to come on the show? I'll bring him on the show through his work. <laughs> Amen? All right. So, now, it's real short, but I just want to share with you, Lisa, because <laughs> you know, this is right what you're talking about. Now, remember, you all, that this is a quote from Dr. Charles Stanley. This is not from Theron Taylor Words, uh, Minister Theron, but guess what? I follow him. He's a man of Jesus Christ, and he's accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as his Lord and personal Savior. You know what? And he's walking it, and that's good for me. That's what works. Okay, well, he says all the children who are being born today are born into warfare. Amen? Mm -hmm. He said because they have an enemy. That's mm -hmm. true. This is what he says. He said they have an enemy that would like to bring them down morally. He mm. said they have an enemy that would like for them to walk away mm. from their belief system. Uh -huh. This is what he's saying. Go he ahead. said we have an enemy that would absolutely and completely, he says, like to turn the word of God topsy, what that word says? Turvy. That means upside down. <laughs> okay? He says because uh, he calls them to forget if their lives uh, are lived absolutely apart from God. Which is the word of God. Amen. Right. And then and I'm gonna just give you a little bit more of what Dr. Charles Stanley says because this is gonna drive home into what Lisa Show is trying to get you to understand. Because this is something huge. What's this is humongous. Dr. Charles Stanley says, in uh -huh. fact, only one out of four college students walk away with their belief system once they finish the institution across the country. He said, But now there are exceptions to some of those institutions. Uh -huh. He said, What has he said, what happened to them? Anyone that is an enemy to your child should be your enemy. 
And you better okay. say that. He says, for the simple reason, this is a part of your life that's a part of who you are. And yet, have those, he said, we have those who are good for your children. He said, they've been doing that for years. Yet, to think about it, it took out the Bible out of schools. He said, they stopped prayer. Prayer is no longer in the schools. He says, and they have done everything in their power to degrade our children from becoming all that Can I ask God. you something? Because I'm going to ask you, because that's a pivotal point that you put. We can't go no further until you talk about that. Go for it, Lisa. You you just said something that's really mm. key. Mm, mm, they mm. took prayer and Bibles out of the school. Mm -hmm. Now let me ask you something, because this is where it gets deep mm -hmm. when we talk about our children. Mm -hmm. Do you agree that all people of all religions pay taxes? I don't believe that. You don't think Muslims that work here pay taxes? <sighs> I don't know the Muslim uh, deal on uh, currency. A uh, 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 responsibility, so but I don't believe all people of religion pay taxes. But, uh, but do, well, let me ask you something. If they go to the store mm -hmm. and they purchase something, they pay taxes. Yes. If they work on a job, mm -hmm. they pay taxes. Mm -hmm. And the school are paid for with their taxes. Now, I believe Bible should be in the school, too, because I'm you know, going that route. But, yeah. but let me tell you mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, says Muslims pay taxes. Book because you can't get out of it. Right. Buddhists pay taxes. Mm -hmm. Atheists pay taxes. Mm -hmm. Hindus pay taxes. Should their Bibles and their prayers also be in the school? I think it wouldn't hurt. They're paying for them. If we paying for you know what? That's, you know what? If Can we, I give you a hand? Please. Because very few people feel like that, and that's a sign of maturity on your part, because if they pay into a system, they should have the same rights. Yes. And, but you know what? But when you do that, you allow our Christian children yes. to be able to practice their religion openly. Well, we, you know, we have school. our Christian leaders and providers who is also a part of that tax bracket that are you know, given in the taxes into the school system. You know, so I think that, hey, you know what? We should have the same Authority and having our children have an opportunity of reading the Bible just as well as any other taxpayer should have the same issues or, you know, say so to have their children to believe whatever it is religion or belief that they have. Now, I want you to go back. Well, you know you're what? To something. You know what? And praise the Lord. You know, that, but that's a good point that you made. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and Dr. Charles Stanley, again, you all, I want to let you know something that Dr. Charles Stanley is from In Touch Ministries. Okay. And, and, and you know what? He's in his older age. But his gospel wisdom, God has touched this man's life. I'm just so happy that he followed his calling. Mm. Me too. I'm happy you followed mm, yours. And you. I'm happy you followed mine. Okay. And I'm happy Brother Curtis followed his over That's here. Right. Because you That's know right. what? Right. It's a, it, 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 you know what? Many members won't buy it. I'm so, you know right. what? I'm so happy That's Peter right. followed his. Look. Right. Amen. Right. So, you know, moving on with the text. And it mm -hmm. says right here, I, I left off that, you know, that we have a lot of people out there mm -hmm. and institutions along with media, Dr. Stanley said, that are gunning for our children. He said they've been doing that for years. And he says, yet to think about it, they took the Bible out of school and prayer out of school. Uh -huh. And they've done everything in their power to degrade our children from becoming all they could be. So what do we have? He says that we have schools that are unsafe to go to. And we have schools where the word of God is never mentioned. You were going to hold on because we got to go for a station of dedication. That's right. That's right. You put your mark right there. I got my doing, mark right there. You're doing good. <laughs> uh, you know what? You're here right now. I'm, 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 I'm just going to my old show on the couch. <laughs> no, baby. This is lunch with Lisa B. And I hope you have your lunch. I hope you're tuned in, honey, because we're talking about can you keep your children innocent in this day and age on PTV1 on the TPNG network. Don't you go nowhere. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. You know, if you're like most Americans, you probably say to yourself all the time, systemic racism. Is that really a thing? Well, did you know that back in the 1980s, there were less than half a million people in the U.S. prison system? But now, thanks to the war on drugs, there are more than two million. Did you know that out of every 100,000 Americans, about 700 are incarcerated? But out of every 100,000 black men, over 4,000 are incarcerated? And that one of the many effects of that trend is, combined with felony disenfranchisement laws, it means that 13% of black American men are denied the right to vote. Did you know that? Do you know what that's called? That's called systemic racism. And yes, it's really a thing.
To learn more about systemic racism, visit raceforward.org and donate today to support racial justice. To know who you are, you have to know where you come from. Honor and respect those who help pave the way, working hard, sacrificing, saving, and building a future for you and your family. We are One United Bank, America's largest black-owned bank, with offices in Boston, Los Angeles, and Miami. We invite you to join our effort in building economic power in America by opening an account at www.oneunited.com. Join the movement today and make your money matter for you and generations to come. I always take the road less traveled. And if the road hasn't been traveled at all, I make my own road. Pave my own path. Make my own asphalt. Adhere to strict transportation guidelines. Build a show. Use the hardworking power of Old Spice Dirt Destroyer to clean me off. Get back to that road so I can get to the game on my own terms. What is a throwback? An antique or has been? A history? A legacy? A throwback is a memory, a story. And now, after years of struggle to find a shaving process that we can enjoy, we discovered that the best shaving tools are as old as shaving itself. Introducing Bevel, the simple end-to-end -end shaving system that we can use. Bevel, by Walker & Company. Hi, I'm Lisa B, wife, family, minister of the gospel, playwright, television host, author, radio show host on KGM1.com, Queen Lisa B. Lunch with Lisa B. And I, it's your girl Lisa B. And I just want to tell you thank you for coming back to join me today. Our topic is: Can your child, can you maintain your child's innocence in 2017? But check this out: We were sitting up here having a deep discussion mm -hmm. while y'all going. Mm -hmm. They might not have never had none. They might not have never had none. You know, I, you know what? I, I love what you're saying because you love them so much and you're giving them so much credit. Right. Well, I don't think they ever had. And you any. think they clean, but they went. They what? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. on okay. Now. Well, you know what? So uh, I was leaving off where uh, Doctor Stanley was talking to us about how our children have been degraded. Okay, and uh, for becoming all that they can be. And then he said he poses a question. He says, "What do we have?" Okay, so he says we have uh, schools that are unsafe to go to, and we have schools where the word of God is never mentioned, and we have teachers who are ungodly. So since parents aren't doing their job at home, and oftentimes the church doesn't do its job, look what he says. Oh God! He said, then what happens? He said we have uh, already raised a whole generation of children whom technically, when it comes to computers, iPhones, and all the rest, he says they're wizards at that. They are wizards at that. You ain't got to tell them anything. You give a kid, look at here. I had bought an iPhone you one time. Lying. Look at here. I didn't know what to do. And so uh, me and my wife are out. I looked at this. I said, excuse me, to some person that was passing by. Uh -huh. I says, uh, can, can I use your uh, kid? So can I give your kid my phone and teach me how to work it? He's, oh, sh oh, he's good. It's there. A kid doing the phone. He's <laughs> <laughs> Right? <laughs> He's about five. Uh, Look, he did yeah. that. Okay, so anyway, and this is exactly what Charles Stanley is saying. And he says, well, there was just that. He said, but if you'll notice, he said, there is something missing. All of those things have become a substitute for the development of relationships. Oh, uh, so I was going to go into it later on. But you, 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 know know you, going, you in the vein. Yeah, because see, that's how come it's so important that, you know, we pay attention to our young ones. And you know what? They're, 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 they're becoming recluse. Mm -hmm. They don't know, you know what, they don't know how to talk to people anymore. No. They don't know how to carry a comment. You're talking to them. 
You talking to, I'm trying to have a conversation with your kid. No eye contact. And, and they like this. And, and you say something, you say, I'm listening to you. And I'm like, eh, eh. can you do this? I'm listening to you. Yeah, and I'm like. That's amazing. You know, my mama would have slapped the taste out of my mouth. That's exactly, you know, if that was to happen, <laughs> she would have slapped the spirit out of your face. Look, I'm telling I'm, you. Because I'm telling you something right now. This epidemic with these this media parts of this medium and the cell phone epidemic is something that, you know, us as parents, you know, if I want to say something here. You love your child. You love the young ones in your family. You love your neighbors. Uh, I just want to say, you know what, get involved with them. Because right now they got a they have a uh, it says forty percent of young people who come through the junior high schools uh -huh. and over to the high schools. He says forty percent of the children who are going from uh, junior high until high school. Guess what? They don't go out with their friends no longer. They don't go out uh -huh. and have fun. They don't even go to the candy house anymore. They don't anymore. even leave the house. You know what they do? They don't leave the house. They don't. They don't exercise. Right. But you know, you give them that. You give them that media. Uh -huh. They will get on that media, and what they would do with that media is something that you, you know what, you know what, for hours. The, the house is quiet. Yeah. Remember when there was growing up, <laughs> and the house, what were y'all doing? Making all that noise. Right. 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 We could ride that bicycle and hop. Oh, I need some rest. Girl, I mean, is you know, is you bouncing that ball in this house? I'm gonna call your uncle. Look, that's no more. I, I went to go outside at eight thirty in the morning on Saturday. My mom told her, "Don't you know you got some chores and things to do? You These kids don't want to go outside no you more. You can't even kick them out the house anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of kid is that? That's a that's a techno kid. That the punishment used to be. Wait a minute. The punishment used to be you can't go outside this weekend. Hey, they don't want to go outside. You know what my mother did to me when I would get in trouble? What? She, what my mom did to me? Cause see, when I was coming up, I was a bookworm. Uh -huh. My mom says, "Boy, you gonna keep acting like that." You do that again, I want you to eat them vegetables. You know what? I'm going to take your book. That would destroy me. <laughs> I think I know. Mama, I think I know. That would destroy me. For me, I, you, I, I, I'm, you in for the weekend. Oh, oh boy. No, no. I'm oh, like, no. I'm like, oh, because every weekend I had big fat plans, right? Right, right. I, if I was little, I was skating. Yeah. I, I, would, I lived on 98th Avenue in East Oakland. Mm -hmm. We're right from 98th Avenue all the way to First Ave by the Blake mm -hmm. over there. Mm -hmm. It'd be 100 mm -hmm. degrees outside. Right. We'd be drinking out of people's water hoses on the way. Oh, you yeah. knew that? Yeah. 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 God. Okay. When was the last time you seen a kid drink out of anybody's water hose? A couple of times yeah. we panhandled yeah. for yeah. money. You remember? <laughs> <laughs> You know, oh my goodness. We right. stop our friend's house and have some lunch, a yeah. peanut butter jelly sandwich, oh some goodness. cheese sandwiches mm. or something. But the days is over. They are a wash. I, I don't even see kids get skates and bikes for Christmas no more like that no more. They don't even, you know what, you know what. They want Playstations and Come Xboxes. On. You know what. It, and phones mm. and Android. They, have, they wanted to put on, see, I always said this. Once they create anything that can put on a child's head and they can see a whole nother world, they mm -hmm. call it virtual reality. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they made it part reality, but right. it's virtual. So you virtual like says, this all day. Stuck. Look you at you. Yes, sir. Eight hours. But in your mind, in your eyesight, you just moving, you're fighting, you're right. standing, and you don't have a chance. sitting like this. Ten hours. You know that oh the, there's, a, there's, a, there's a, a, a warning that comes mm. with that telling you to produce seizures. Yes. Do you know when I took out my brain tumor last year, you know my doctor told me. Praise the Lord. Yeah, he said, keep that thing off your face. Yes. That's what my doctor told me. He said, them things is bad. He said, keep yes. the things off your off face. Your face. He said, you know those little um, earphones that them wireless earbuds mm -hmm. people put on them that they mm -hmm. can talk? He said, don't know where them. He said, them things is cancer. They're shocking. They're very carcinogenic. They're radioactive. Very carcinogenic. You right. know what? I want to say something about what you were saying here. And kids, all our kids got them. All of them got them. And we bought them. Yes, because you know why? Because they might run away. This is what we We have shipped them. We chip them. We chip them up. We chip them up. <laughs> chip them up. Yeah. This is how we. This is how we discipline our children. Mm. We're using media to discipline our children. And that's we. Right. That's very something. We're using. Guess what? We're using the latest iPhone. What is that iPhone eight? I think by the time we get to iPhone thirty seven. By the time we get to iPhone thirty seven, I know the Jetsons are gonna be in now. <laughs> Oh, 
we left for the store. I mean, and then I thought it was cool that the dog called the kid when the kid came home. Oh, no, 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 no you remember that? I do. You remember that? They, mm. were, they, they were chip, and that was in the 70s. In the 70s. But check this out. The, the question is posed, because we talked about this during the break. Okay. And are children ever really innocent? And before you say something, the, we're going gonna, gonna to say this. Think about this, people who are listening and viewers. Yes. The word of God says we're born in sin and shaped in iniquity. Mm, that's the word. And so how can you be innocent if you're already born in sin? You're shaped in iniquity, which is the flesh that God said there's no good things in the flesh. If you're born into the flesh, your spirit is no longer innocent. It's Check this good. out. I gave Theron an example. This is what mm, one of my mm, kids mm, did mm. when they was little. Okay, can, can, is my phone on the table? Can you see my white phone on the camera? Uh huh. Okay, uh -huh. this is what one of my kids did. I when my kids were growing up, I always had some glass and crystal, mm -hmm. and then my thing was don't touch it. Mm -hmm. So they knew not to touch they it. They knew this. So I'm sitting watching my son. He wasn't even two yet. It was him because my daughter wasn't born yet. Okay. And he put his hands on the table. Mm -hmm. the, phone, the, 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 the crystal over there. Right. Okay. I said, don't do that. Mm -hmm. He said, mm. I said, don't do that. He said, mm. and he's looking at me as he do this. Mm. <laughs> he said, don't do that. I said, don't do that. Mm -mm. Now I'm sitting up looking at him. He said, oh. <laughs> and then it went back real fast. Mm. Wow. So I had to take his hand and go. I said, did. don't do that. He fell on the floor, started an island and crying <laughs> and rolling around. You would I was surprised somebody called CPS. <laughs> he was out there. You know what's amazing though, Lisa? What, what, what did you say when I told you that? But you know, like I told you, you know, it's like, you know, where did he learn that from? That was already in him. Didn't no one teach him how to do that? Nobody taught him how to do that. He went, he went to the table and slapped the table for the when he slapped the table for the set watch this right here. When he slapped the table for the first time. <laughs> he was in rebellion. When he slapped it for the second time, that might have been Adam or Eve. One of them. Uh -huh. Okay. The third time, that was either Adam or Eve. Okay, whoever went first, mm -hmm. that was him. Mm -hmm. And he went ahead and did what he did. Mm -hmm. Just as he was punished for making the decision that he knew not to make. Mm -hmm. Come that. on with it. Uh, over there? Come on with it. You over know, there? I, I, we, we're there. Yeah, I posted yeah, on yeah. Facebook this morning. This yes. is what I posted. Thank you, Brother Theron, for yes. putting this out for me. You're more than welcome. I said, starting from Genesis 3, 7 through 11. If you're on, um, if you're watching, get your get your, get your media out. <laughs> <laughs> get your phone out. But for a good cause, though. <laughs> this is a good get, cause. Get, get your, your phone. Out. Genesis 3, 7 through 11. And if you're watching on your phone, get your Bible out. I know that a lot of people don't do that. That's not popular anymore. <laughs> but Genesis 3, 7 through 11, the account of Adam and Eve's reaction to their sin demonstrates that sin destroys innocence. Mm. Were two people ever more innocent at the beginning of their lives than Adam and Eve? Mm. They didn't know sin. They didn't know wickedness. They didn't know evil. All they knew was God. That's all they knew. Mm -hmm. Just as my son, when he was first born, mm -hmm. all he knew was mommy. Mm -hmm. You understand what I was? Didn't yes, know nothing know. else. You know, it's amazing how God told them. He says, you know what? Do not eat of this tree right here. And, you know, and the text goes on. He told them why not to eat of the tree. The tree of, you know, good We get ready to go there. Mm -hmm. Immediately after sinning, mm -hmm. though they felt shame because of their nakedness, Mm, mm, mm. They were perfect when they were naked. Perfect. Then they felt out that they was naked. Let me find out. They did this. That's exactly what I want you to go to. <laughs> you know, you know what they, they did, did this. Yes. yes. And then they went like this, and they did uh -huh. like this. Uh -huh. Then they went like this, and uh -huh. they said, "Yeah, exactly. We're naked." Uh huh. <laughs> you know what? They got some knowledge they weren't mm -hmm. supposed to be getting. 
-hmm. Do you understand with no wisdom? Mm -hmm. They got the knowledge. Mm -hmm. Did you understand what I just said, brother? Yes, I did. Yeah. Without the wisdom. Yeah. And yes. they looked at themselves like this. They exactly. did a selfie. Yes. And they selfie. did a selfie. And did a selfie. Yeah. And then they said, <laughs> look at us. Exactly. We're naked. That's amazing. Amazing. That is amazing. That's definitely amazing. It's heavy. You know what? And we as parents, we have got to go over these scriptures like this every so often, as much as you possibly can. Because if not, it's your children's situation. It's your children's future. I mean, it depends upon us to study the word and to feed them. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Lisa. Now, I got this internet. I got this off the internet. Okay. And I, I, I cited it. It was from a guy named John oh, yes, W. Rittenbaugh. Rittenbaugh yes, that wrote yes. this article okay. here off the internet. You can go to my page and see it. And it says, sin leaves a tarnish on a person's mind so that he does not look at life in quite the same way anymore. Mm -mm. You know why? Because it diminishes the presence of God in you. Ooh, if you're wait. full and then you let some sin enter in, then that sin has taken the place of that part of God in your life. So no, you're no longer full. Now you're depleting yourself. But you know and if you keep though? feeding that thing, the presence of God just keeps dwindling in you mm -hmm. until now you got to lead a guard. Mm -hmm. You know what? That's amazing. That's, that's exactly what happened. And we had a Bible study last night over at the Salvation Army. Mm -hmm. And so the pastor, Pastor Daniel Pack, he had made a statement upon, you know, being poor in your spirit. And this is definitely one of the ways that we become poor in our spirit is when we don't listen to the, you know, the principles and precepts of God. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we start to do things on our own. Uh huh. Because guess what? Like you said, at that part where you start to sin, you know, that's taking the place where God was. Right. And then so when you are totally consumed with sin, well, you know what? Guess what? Now you don't just etch God out. That's the ego thing. Right. And mm -hmm. James, in the book of James, James chapter 1, verses 12 to 17, mm -hmm. it gives us an illustration and a breakdown on what happened when sin is full-blown, what it does. Mm -hmm. It brings forth death. Amen? Mm -hmm. And so this is what we don't want. You right. know? Right. My goodness. And I tell you, you know, Lisa, what I want to say is that, uh, are you still going to go over some more of this right but, here? But, uh, but no, because I don't, they can go on, they need to go online and read Okay, this. okay. But that's why I put it there, so okay. they can read it okay. and we can talk. Okay. But you know what? There's nothing worse than a child with a reprobate mind. Can I talk about that for a second? Yes, you may. Yes, you may. Do you know That's deep. that sin has abounded upon the earth? There's nothing that's a secret anymore because of the way that information travels now. Mm -hmm. So, so anything and everything is there for you to see, touch, smell, feel, participate in. At any time. You can have virtual sex. Mm -hmm. Put that thing on your face. Mm -hmm. And be like this. And actually be having sex. Because sex is a mind thing anyway. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So. So. so you, you have your child. Mm -hmm. Sitting there. Exploring. Their sexuality. Through virtual reality. Violation. Becoming an abomination and have never entered into the act. Mm -hmm. But sitting there like this for eight hours. Mm -hmm. Turning, giving your child's spirit over to an unclean thing. Mm -hmm. You don't even know that they're participating. You ain't even see nobody coming in and out of your home. Mm -hmm. So you thinking your child is innocent because... How can your child be violated? Mm -hmm. They never were he, No one ever came here. But their spirit was raped. Mm -hmm. Yes. Their emotions were trampled upon. Snatched they have away. came into contact with the unclean thing. An uh, unclean thing. For hours. Upon hours. Now they think it's normal. It's a normalcy to them. Now you have little boys who are fighting for LGBT rights. Yes. That's why they're fighting for them, yes. because their spirits were raped. See, people think violation comes in the form of a physical thing. Not anymore. Not anymore. We have virtual reality. You know, uh, I was here in Oakland oh, last yes. weekend. Oh. I, you know, I was here in Oakland last weekend, everyone. Mm -hmm. And I had, the, um, I had the opportunity to uh, go and fellowship with Bishop 
Anthony Willis mm -hmm. over at the Lily uh, I love Valley. him. I love him as well. <laughs> a wonderful man. I love him. A wonderful man of God, everyone. Mm -hmm. And he's over at the Lily uh, Valley Christian Center. Mm -hmm. And I went over there and uh, had fellowship with him. And he had spoke on, I spoke to him. I said, well, I'm going on the show, Lunch with Lisa B. Mm -hmm. I said, you said a couple of things that I would like to quote from you. Is it okay? And he, he texted me back and told me, he said, Brother Farron, it's okay. I said, thank you, Bishop. So I'm here today to say that uh, the Bishop said that, you know, uh, when you don't get involved in your children's media life, when you just let your child run rapid. Their media life. Uh -huh, their media life. Did you one. check that out? The media life. The bishop said this. He says, you just let them go on about their way. He says, and if you don't get in their media life to see what direction that they're headed down, he says, you won't know nothing. It's sharper than us. He says, listen, it starts in the home. He says, this is how you train up your successor. Because apparently something had transpired to where someone went on home to glory and they didn't leave a successor. And you see, and then we were supposed to leave a successor to carry the gospel, uh -huh, to carry the gospel on. I mean, mm -hmm. the, the, the gospel on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so like, like you know, Jesus said in Matthew 28, verse 19, Go ye therefore and teach to all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Showing them what I have given you and taught you. So check it out. If we're not careful in teaching our children which way to be reared up with the word of God, guess what? Guess what? They are left to those evil spirits. They are mm -hmm. left to that virtual reality mm -hmm. mechanism and trying to fill up a void that we didn't fill with the right substances. Okay? And that's what's important. So Bishop uh, uh, would have said that, you know what, you got to get involved with your children's media. He said, because mm. when you go back in Deuteronomy, wow. when they was putting wow. the children in chairs and strapping them down and sacrificing children, he says, guess what? And the fathers was around, but they couldn't get to them. Uh-oh. Mm. Wow. Okay, so the parents are the people of that time, dispensation and era. He says, what happened is, he says, that was the normalcy for that generation. Right. Mm -hmm. So right. anytime that you can take a normalcy that will degrade and defile the oracle of God or God's precepts and concepts on humanity, anytime you can do that, what happens is, you know what, you have a big board in your life and no one has taught you or raised you in the Word of God. And you know, it's nothing worse than knowing that your child was violated on your watch. No, it's not. On your watch. No, it's not. And at, at hindsight, what they said, the saying says hindsight is 50-50, mm -hmm. that you could have come, but you could have came, mm -hmm. and you could have made a difference, but mm -hmm. you were busy. Our children mm -hmm. have a relationship no. yes. with media. Yes. They're in it for the long haul, and you can't take them away from it. Because in the era, the dispensation, as my pastor would say, yes. that they're born in, yes. Yes. it's required. Yes. It's required. So they're in a relationship with this thing. We're not in a relationship in it with I am, because I have a business. You are too, because you have a ministry. That's right. Amen. We're Amen. in a relationship with it. It's very important that we take what we do with the media and emulate that in our conversations with our children, with our friends who have children. Not only that, but like you're doing right now, having shows that, you know what, that are for the pure purpose of finding out what ways that we can best teach our children with the media. How can we step in the media way that is, you know, uh, uh, what you want to say, misindoctrinating uh -huh. For the children, they're misindoctrinating right. our children. What, what what are some of the ways that we can indoctrinate? We can miss. We can well, do, we, we can indoctrinate. We gotta stop have that. conversations. We gotta have we gotta have open. Well, one more minute for the show is over. Okay, <laughs> we have. Oh my God, we just getting oh, we're just back. getting tuned. Oh, we coming back? No, so you gotta have Theron come back on your. Okay, you gotta do a part two on this. You know what? You let me let me hurry up because you know I only got one minute, but. Then, I'm glad that you were here to talk about this one. We're going to have to do a part two. That's not a problem with we, me. We have to do a part two because you know what? It's time to have an open discussion. There's an elephant in the room.
Uh-oh. <laughs> there's, no, there's an elephant in the room. Mm -hmm. And it used to be the elephant was sex. You couldn't talk to your kids about sex. Mm -hmm. Now people don't want to talk to their kids about this um, this thing that's molesting them called the internet. Mm -hmm. wow. It's your girl Lisa B. I'm going to leave it right there because we're going to have to do part two, the internet who molests your children. Yeah. Because it does. Yes. And, and, and thank you for tuning in to Lunch with Lisa B here on the TPNG Network. A special thanks to Minister Curtis Thomas, who engineered for us. To my husband, Cal, 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 my covering. And to Minister Theron, all right, all right, for continuing right. to stand ministry, That's for right. coming and share the word of God with us today. We're going to do a part two. I love you big and I love you much. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> she got
Extreme Pizza was opened on Folsom Street in San Francisco in 1994 by two surfer guys that just didn't want to get real jobs after college. It's got a real down-home, down-to-earth vibe. We have great recipes. Everything's really fresh. We make our dough every day. We prep our vegetables every day. It's just the best pizza you'll ever have. The yard sale undoubtedly is our most popular pizza. It starts off with layers of Italian sausage, salami, pepperoni, and then we top it off with freshly sliced mushrooms, green onions, red onions, green peppers, olives, fresh sliced tomatoes, and a nice layer of mozzarella with a little sprinkling of cheddar on the top. This pizza is amazing. Ordered it every day this week. I like the choices. They have so many different types of pizza, like all different kinds of subs. They have a very wide range of beers that you can choose from, everywhere from lights to darks and from all over the world. So if you're looking for an extremely great pizza, come on into Extreme. KGM1 in Las Vegas, Atlanta, Chicago, Orlando, Tampa, Houston, St. Louis, Baltimore. We are the station for the nation. KGM1. Come on, fast and say he's already done more than I'm worthy of. He's already done more than I'm worthy of. Woo! Come on, y'all can't fool me. I'm looking at some sanctified people out here. Anybody feel with the Holy Ghost out here? Come on, let's make some Holy Ghost noise! I got one more new thing I want to share with you, but it's a praising. And I want to say in the house, I know we outside, but how many believe we in God's house right now? Uh, there's a praise in this. Uh, can you take me to A flat? I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything can you help me say I love you Jesus I love you Jesus I love you I'm not the only one. Would you open up your mouth and sing it with me? I love, I love Jesus. Come on, if you really love him, come on, let's lift those hands before. I love, I love Jesus. Don't you know he loves it when you Your pray? Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Come on, this time, can we take it all the way up?
love me first. That's right. That's right. You know what I love? 